Have you ever wondered if your house is viable for solar? Like, could you put solar panels on their roof? Like, would it be worth it? And more than that, if you're looking for a new house, why not check to see how the roof is to see if it even would be viable for solar? My name is Joan Gregerson, and I'm a realtor here in Denver, and I help people make a positive environmental impact while buying, selling, and investing. And so, yeah, let's turn to this topic. Uh, a while back, I was a solar sales consultant, and it was pretty fun because I'd hop on a video call, and we'd check their roof. We'd talk about how everything was set up and design the system together. It was pretty cool. And along the way, I found this tool called Project Sunroof. And it's a free thing that you can use just in a similar way that you would use Google Maps. Okay, so the first thing is let's first look at the new listings that are coming up. And the whole idea of doing this is to, when you're in the home buying process or you already have a home, to be thinking in every case, hey, I wonder if I could put solar on that roof. So let's just take an address here, for example. Okay, so here's a home that was just listed, um, but here's an address I put in of a home that was for sale, 1125 Xenia Street, Denver. And so you can see right here is the, the marker of that house. And it's gonna give you some quick analysis, like you have 1,852 hours of usable sunlight, 1,145 square feet of panels, $5,000 savings over 20 years. That may be accurate, but I don't, you know, you'd want to take that with a grain of salt. I think what is more interesting is just looking visually. Once you start seeing this and realizing, look at how many roofs. So the, the colors really tell you what's going on, but look how many of our roofs in our neighborhoods have great solar viability they're getting a lot of insulation, we say, is the amount of sun that's hitting those surfaces. Um, if you want to scroll in or to zoom in, so you can see the, the darker colors or the shady area. So maybe there's some trees or something there, or maybe it, that looks like it just doesn't have that data. Um, but it'll it's showing you that on this face here, which is probably the south and the east face, uh, in this case, there's those are two great places for solar. Um, but I just thought this was such a neat thing to do. And then next time when you're in an airplane or you see a, a drone footage, an aerial footage, just think of this picture when you see the roofs and see all the potential and think of them as renewable energy power plants just waiting to happen. When, when I was working at the solar company, there was somebody who, they had a school with this huge unobstructed south facing uh, roof. And they were working on the idea of what if we could just put solar on the school and it was way more than the school would need and try and power the community. Um, as, as kind of a community solar project. So there's lots of different ideas, but I just wanted to share this thing. I thought it was a really cool thing. Let me try the other address that I had. There we go. Just to show you. Um, okay, so you can, this is good. I wanted to show you something like this. So we love trees, right? Trees have a lot of benefit. But when you are thinking of solar, sometimes the amount of trees, like in an older neighborhood, can limit the amount of solar energy that you can get from the roof. I'm gonna scroll back out. So compare this house to the one we saw before. And so when I was doing solar design, we would talk and say, okay, are these st trees still here? And what all is happening? And there's, I did another, um, another session, another video with Dara Herman, that's solar buy versus lease. And really the idea of this is not for you to evaluate whether your house has solar or not, but to get you thinking, maybe it does. And uh, 
then you can hop on and work with an actual solar consultant to to make that more um, you know more detailed more precise decision but just look at all these houses that so many of them have this bright yellow spot on there and the other thing that's good to know too when you're looking for a house is you know is your solar would your house like look at these how nice these are like not a, an uncomplicated roof is great for placing panels in a an uncomplicated way you've probably seen some houses that have like this just beautiful solar array and others it's all like all over the place um so when someone designs a home to be solar ready they're thinking about where the the vents are in the roof and you know really thinking of the shape of the roof and what is going to make the most sense because if you're doing it on one like this you can fit you know a few panels here a few panels here um you know compared to one of those that is like this where you can just do a whole array in one spot all right so this is a a tool from google it's called project sunroof uh the website is sunroof.withgoogle.com and um yeah i encourage you to check it out use this as as something that to to get the conversations going with maybe you see a friend of yours house has like total amazing solar access and you could show them with project sunroof what you're trying to say it makes it so much more visible and it's almost visceral when you see that it's like oh my gosh now i get it all right so hope that that was a helpful tool that you can share and let's use this all to be part of the solution my name is Joan Gregerson. If you like this content, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I hope to see you soon in the Mile High City.